Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're installing the bullet fuel door on my 2003 Mustang Mach 1. So I got one of these a while back. It was the dull one that's not polished. And so um, that one I had sold, and that was years ago. And I was able to find the actual bullet one that's polished on the inside. And so I think this is a really nice touch to the car, whether I'll keep it on the car or... Uh, store it more as a, a rare part because it was about $200. Either way, I could probably justify because I don't drive the Mach 1 on a daily basis. But I did have somebody ask me if I would install it, and so we'll go ahead and do that. So here's a T15 Torx is what you'll need. Don't use a, a cross point screwdriver or anything, you'll strip it. And we're gonna go ahead and remove the two screws that are right here where the fuel door mounts. Once you get it loose, you'll wanna open the fuel cap and move it out of the way. And now the fuel door slides right out. It's very easy to remove. So I'll go ahead and then we're gonna take out the other T15 screws that hold those little rubber stops on the other end so it's nice and flush and there's no screws here. Now as we bring in the fuel door, we're pretty much going to remove both of these black uh, little tabs. And so these kind of hook onto the inside of the, uh, the rim of the fuel area there. And so we're just taking our T15 Torx and we're removing those entirely. So keep them nearby. We'll be putting them on once the fuel door is in place. And so these are the ones then that are closest to where the fuel door opens. Just again, those two black little uh, clips there. And so uh, just put the hardware aside. This is very hard hardware to find and it rusts easy. So um, anyway, we're also going to take off these two screws here. And if you look, the very front two, which are by the hinge, have a little rubber piece on them. So we're gonna go ahead and just take that rubber piece off. And so this is what it looks like uh, up close. You can see it's just these tiny little O-rings. And so those two studs will now just basically be floating in there. So don't let them fall to the ground and uh, we'll just line them up. We will need to go to a hardware store and buy little nuts that will go on the back of those. So again, these two are removed here with those uh, clips there, and the other two are just kind of floating in there right here, uh, so make sure they don't fall out. And then there's two other screws, and we just leave them as they are already attached, and you could remove one of those uh, little nuts on the back of the other ones and take them to a hardware store or just take the whole thing in. But we're gonna go ahead and put the little rubber piece on the inside. So basically we're installing it back. Here it is on the top and the bottom. And it's barely holding it on that way. So again, you will need to get some hardware from our hardware store. Now we just put our black clips in here. So you just slide them in so that they're, uh, you know, pinching over that uh, body trim little ring area and put the screws back in. So very easy to do and uh, just be real careful with the hardware and not to scratch anything up uh, with this aluminum. I'm sure you'd see that uh, scratch if you do one. So anyway, we, we went ahead and just screwed both of these down, T15 Torx, just the way they came out and got them in there. So now it's holding on from the back and these ones did a good firm attachment, but uh, again, you're gonna wanna go get some nuts and do it from the uh, very front as well because they're just being held on by these uh, rings right now, the little grommets. Um, but uh, anyway, that's how easy it is to install. Uh, we'll just go ahead and close the door here, make sure everything looks nice and flush. And of course, one of the most satisfying parts is remove this plastic. So anyway, this is the way that I did it and uh, removing the car's factory rubber bumper stops. It didn't seem like they would be able to fit on there with the door. You might want to put some insulation on the back side so it doesn't chip any paint as well. But uh, anyway, this is what it looks like now. And I think it matches the Mach 1 very well with the wheels. This was a bullet piece. Um, Pre-production Mach 1s, I think I have seen pictures that had this as well. It's probably just a cost that they didn't want to do in the end. I think an aluminum fuel door is awesome as the 70s muscle cars had and uh, matches the heritage wheels, everything like that. So put in the comments what you think, if it belongs on the car or not. This is something, obviously, if I keep on here, I'm keeping the factory fuel door as well. That's a part you don't want to get rid of that's paint matched. Um, but uh, I think it looks really good and matches the Mach 1's personality. And so anyway, I think it's a really cool piece. I love how it has the running pony and the Ford logo on the inside. It's a Ford uh, specific part. And so that's kind of what uh, led me to get it. I loved seeing it on the bullets growing up. And uh, I think it's just a nice quality, good piece. So let me know in the comments what you think.
And uh, as always, thanks for watching.